Now, the majority of traditional wrestling strikes aren't supposed to make full contact with the body. However, sometimes wrestlers can be stiff when performing certain strikes and more often than not, this results in some sort of immediate injury or laceration. Uh, what are you looking for? Oh my God! Although this style of wrestling, often cited as strong style, is popular in Japan, in WWE only a select few superstars seem to pride themselves on being rather physical in the ring. Superstars such as Brock Lesnar, Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura all have extremely physical in-ring styles and sometimes they can be extra stiff when performing basic strikes such as kicks and punches. But when was full contact made? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the most brutal real contact strikes in WWE history. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Sheamus' brutal bro kick to Riddle at WrestleMania 37. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Sheamus has obtained a reputation for being one of the stiffest workers of all time. One of the more recent examples of this is his US title match at WrestleMania 37 against Matt Riddle. The finish of the match involved Riddle going for a moonsault, which Sheamus would counter by hitting Riddle with a bro kick in midair. It looked absolutely devastating and following the match, the camera zoomed in on Riddle who had blood all on his face, making it quite clear that Sheamus had made full-blown contact. Number 9, Shamrock vs Vader When Ken Shamrock and Vader collided at In Your House, a cold day in hell in 1997, fans expected one of the most physical matches in WWE history and that's what they got. Now, this was Shamrock's in-ring pay-per-view debut and he would later admit that he wasn't too sure how to work a safe WWE match, as he had just come off a UFC career. This meant that from the very start, Shamrock was extremely stiff in the match and was hitting Vader with real punches left and right. At one point in the match, Shamrock punched Vader so hard that he actually broke Vader's nose. It wasn't too long before Vader retorted back with a stiff lariat which nearly knocked Shamrock right out. The match was really brutal to watch and it was very rare to see a match that physical during that time period. Number 8, Brock Lesnar punches Braun Strowman in the head. Take a look at this right hand from Lesnar. And that's the right, and that didn't scramble. Now, getting on the wrong side of our former UFC heavyweight champion is never a good idea, but Ron Strowman found this out the hard way in January of 2018. At the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, Lesnar and Braun would compete in a triple threat match alongside WWE Hall of Famer Kane. And during the match, Braun would hit Lesnar with a stiff knee, and Lesnar didn't take too kindly to this, so we responded to Braun by telling him to... However, it wasn't just words Lesnar used. Lesnar proceeded to legitimately punch Braun right in the head to knock some sense into him. According to Braun himself, Lesnar was cool with him once they got backstage and Braun even admitted he just got carried away in the moment. Number 7, Chris Jericho teaches Shane McMahon a lesson at Survivor Series 2016. A Survivor Series 2016 featured one of the most acclaimed traditional Survivor Series matches of all time. WWE would revert back to the popular Raw vs SmackDown format as the Raw team consisted of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. They took on the SmackDown team consisting of AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt and Shane McMahon. Now, although the match was truly great, there was a notable spot as when Shane and Jericho were wrestling, it appeared as if Shane was legitimately punching Jericho in the face. Fans could gradually see Jericho getting more and more frustrated, so much so that Jericho responded by giving Shane a dropkick right into his face. During an appearance on From the Top Rope, Jericho would discuss the incident with Shane. It would reveal that Shane punched him multiple times in the face and he had to tell him to calm down as he was getting far too carried away. Number 6, Sheamus kicks Jeff Hardy's tooth out. As Sheamus makes yet another appearance in this list, but this time he actually managed to injure a WWE legend in the process. At the 2017 Payback pay-per-view, the duo of Sheamus and Cesaro took on the Hardy Boys. During the match, Sheamus would kick Jeff Hardy in the face so hard that Hardy's tooth would actually fall out. This was an obvious accident and just a simple case of Sheamus getting carried away. Immediately following the kick, Sheamus would check on Hardy to make sure he was okay and luckily Hardy was able to finish the match. Number 5, Chris Jericho punches Shawn Michaels' wife in the face. The feud between Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho reached its boiling point in the summer of 2008. WWE would run an angle which saw HBK come to the ring alongside his wife Rebecca at the SummerSlam pay-per-view to officially announce his retirement from in-ring competition. 
HBK would be forced to retire in the storyline due to the amount of injuries he had suffered during his career. Jericho would interrupt and demand that HBK tell the fans that Jericho was the reason he was retiring. After a verbal interaction, Jericho went to punch HBK in the face, however HBK ducked and Jericho hit HBK's wife right in the face. Unfortunately, Jericho actually made full-blown contact with Rebecca's face with a legitimate punch. Amazingly, Rebecca wasn't even injured as a result of the punch. Number 4. Brock Lesnar's Stiff Elbow When Brock Lesnar returned to the WWE in 2012, he was a different animal in comparison to the Lesnar that was in WWE between 2002 and 2004. Lesnar was now a legitimate pro fighter who had become one of UFC's most successful fighters of all time. Lesnar's style in WWE would be completely reinvented to match his fighter persona, and this had been a move which had received mixed reviews from fans. During Lesnar's first match back with John Cena in 2012, fans were shocked with just how stiff Lesnar was being. Lesnar was throwing legitimate punches and elbows at Cena, so much so that Cena was busted open in the match. Fast forward to SummerSlam in 2016, where the finish of the match involved Lesnar hitting an elbow on Randy Orton which busted him open. This was a planned spot, but the elbow was 100% legitimate. This was the elbow which infamously caused Chris Jericho to confront Lesnar backstage as he believed that Lesnar had legitimately shot on Orton to close the match. This spot would once again be repeated in the main event of WrestleMania 34. Number 3. Shayna Baszler Kicks Asuka's Tooth Out On an episode of Raw in early 2021, a tag match which would take place between Asuka and Charlotte Flair taking on the duo of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would end in a disaster when Shayna walked up to Asuka to kick her and attempt to break a submission. But the issue was that Shayna accidentally kicked Asuka right in the face, knocking out her tooth in the process. As well as losing a tooth, Asuka would sadly suffer a concussion which kept her out of action for an extended period. Number 2. Nia Jax Punches punch Becky Lynch In the face from Nia Jax, that changed my career forever. And Nia Jax over the past few years has attained a reputation for being rather unsafe in the ring. This all started on a particular episode of Raw in 2016 which saw the Smackdown locker room invade Raw to build up to the Survivor Series. In one particular segment on the show, Nia will legitimately punch Smackdown Women's Champion Becky Lynch in the face, breaking her nose in the process. Nia actually punched Becky so hard that she also suffered a concussion. This resulted in Becky being pulled from her scheduled match with Ronda Rousey which was set to be the biggest match of her career. And number 1. Seth Rollins Breaks John Cena's Nose and One of the top matches on the SummerSlam match card in 2015 was a winner-takes-all match between Seth Rollins and John Cena. Although the match was without a doubt the best match on the show, the build-up to the match was what people talked about, as Cena and Rollins would square off one-on-one -on, -one on Raw, and during the match Rollins managed to break Cena's nose by kneeing him straight in the face. This put the SummerSlam match in jeopardy as WWE weren't sure if Cena would be healthy enough to wrestle the match. Rollins breaking Cena's nose was met with heavy criticism from WWE legends such as Bret Hart who believed that Rollins was unsafe in the ring and he was incredibly reckless to break Cena's nose. Nevertheless, Cena managed to recover in time for SummerSlam and Rollins would end up winning the match, securing both the WWE and US titles in the process. But there you have it folks, 10 of the most brutal real contact strikes in WWE history. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.